Hello, my name is Salman Nakwi, and I'm really excited to show you this Excel to Network Diagram conversion script. The script converts Excel information into a network diagram. So if you provided input like this, what we see here on the screen, it can convert it into an output like this. This can be used to validate connectivity and automatically generate dynamic diagrams. So this is just a condensed version of what I uh, what the input looks like. Here is an actual input of what uh, the script is expecting. And then the actual output looks like this. And this is a SVG file, which can be imported into many different programs, including Visio, and be manipulated further. So this can be an excellent way of validating connectivity between your devices and systems, uh, as well as automatically documenting and generating network diagrams for your systems. So we just went over what the input looks like and what the output looks like. So the next item is how do we use a script? So we'll start by installing the dependencies and then I'll show you how to use the script. So I won't go through the complete process of installing the dependencies in order to keep the video brief, but I will show you the starting point. So this is a Python script. Uh, it's available at this location. And I will, this Python script, uh, we created myself and a brilliant developer, Roman Setsenetsia. We created this script uh, and it's available on GitHub uh, for your convenience. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. So first of all, we'll go ahead and download the script. And the script also, by the way, has two sample files that we're going to go through. I'm going to extract the content of the script into my downloads folder. And right in the GitHub file, uh, you can see examples. And uh, there's a, uh, uh, a more complex example, which is demo, dot, demo Excel file. And there's a simpler example which is demo simple Excel file. And first I'll convert the demo simple Excel file and show you the output, and then I'll convert the larger topology. So to use the script, you need Python, and just you can just Google uh, Python download, and then it'll take you to this page, and you can install and download it. Next, you also need pip, uh, a, which will be used to install uh, the modules, Python modules required for the script. And so you can search pip install, and you can just go to the instructions for your platform. This will work on Linux, Mac, or Windows. And then you can install pip. Next, you need to install the Python libraries that are required. And so if you go to the requirements text file here, uh, you can install all these uh, dependencies. And you just simply do pip install pandas, pip install jinja2, etc. And so you install all five of these dependencies. The last thing you need to do is install graphviz. So again, just search graphviz download and it'll just take you to the latest page of wherever GraphViz is and install it for your platform. Again, all of the, the script will work on any of the three major platforms, including Windows, and I'm uh, running this demo on a Windows machine. So once you have the dependencies installed and the script downloaded from GitHub, just like I sh showed just now, uh, then you would go to uh, your command prompt and go to the uh, location where you download the script. And then 
uh, all you need to do is simply provide Python name of the script and the name of the input file. So Python e 2 nd converter, and then we'll start with a simple example. And within a few seconds, the script generates this output, which you can see here. So there's a dot output, HTML output, and SVG file output. And so you can just ignore the dot output. It's the underlying graph is a text format that converts, uh, allows graphics to convert it into SVG. Uh, SVG format is really what we're interested in. This is the format that can be you know, utilized and open in almost every browser and every other program and can, open be, can also be opened in Visio and uh, be further manipulated in Visio. Another really nice feature of this script is uh, there's a dynamic HTML output too. So in case you want to highlight a particular interface, you can just click on it and you can see it more clearly and it uh, puts the other interfaces in the background. This is a really nice feature that Roman added uh, in a later version of the script. And this feature uh, ends up being really useful in larger topologies. So now we are going to run the script again, except we'll do this for the larger topology. And before I do that, I'll show you what the input looks like. And again, if you find this script useful, you can use this, these two scripts, which are right in the GitHub repository as samples as a starting point uh, or a template for your connectivity. So this basically you know, shows that this device using this SFP is to be connected to this device using this SFP. And you can um, use that information and you update the, script, uh, the, the input file with your own information to create automatically generated diagrams. So uh, we'll go ahead and run the script. And within a couple of seconds, we can see the output that, that it generates. All right, so I can open the SVG file. Oh, I meant to open the other one right here. And so this is what the output looks like. And we can see this is a significantly larger topology. Uh, we can zoom in and out and import this in Visio and manipulate it further. Uh, and then remember there's the dynamic uh, diagram as well, which is really nice, uh, where you can click on specific interfaces and see the source and destination. And uh, again, you can view this information in your browser or import it in Visio and a number of other programs. SVG is a very old format that is compatible uh, with a lot of systems, a lot of applications, and can be imported and manipulated in a very large variety of applications. I hope this uh, you find this script useful in automating your network diagrams. Uh, if you are working in a situation like a data center where you have to put your connectivity information in an Excel file anyways, uh, before you, uh, ha so, you, so, you, so that you can get your devices connected to each other, uh, this can be a really uh, efficient way to, uh, to, to make your uh, uh, diagrams automated. And so, you know, you basically have one source of truth, which would be your Excel file. And then whenever you need a diagram, you just generate the uh, diagram from the Excel file. So uh, I hope you find this script useful. And uh, thank you for watching.